What's going on, everyone? My name is JP. This is my wife, Jordana, and our kids, Aurelia and Odin. Back on our sixth wedding anniversary, we decided we wanted to buy an RV and see the country. Fast forward to March of 2021, we sold our house, ditched all our stuff, and hit the road for what we hope will be a journey filled with a lifetime of memories. We hope you will join us on this journey as we wander to get lost. Hey, what's going on, everybody? JP here. Uh, it is Friday, July uh, 9th. So, uh, alright, so what's going on today? The front cab section is as clean as I'm going to get it. So, what I am going to be doing today is putting down this material right here. This is uh, called DB Armor Soundproofing. Uh, it's not heat shield. It's basically, because I pulled up the carpet and the foam padding, we're probably gonna get a lot of noise vibration from underneath, being the engine is right here in the front. So I'm putting down this um, soundproofing. It's by a company called Heat Shield Products. In case anybody is wondering, this is Heat Shield. Um, I'm going to eventually be adding this to the engine cowl cover on the inside. But uh, for now, the goal is to get the soundproofing down on the uh, chassis section of the RV and then we'll start laying the floorboards. So I'm going to start over here in the passenger side, kind of work my way back and over into the driver side. Um, I do have another box of this so hopefully I have enough sheets. So yeah. I'm going to follow the directions that say measure twice, cut once. For the most part, I'll be able to do some streets first, and then I'm going to fill in where I need to. But uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, works out and goes good, because uh, I want to start laying the floor down. All right. All right, so I'm going to list some specs on the video as I'm working of this product. It is peel and stick, so you just peel off from the back, and then you just press it down. Everybody's wondering this chassis is really uneven so uh, I'm just gonna make it look as nice as I possibly can um, when we put the, the uh, laminate flooring down here I'm hoping the uh, sound mat will uh, kind of eat up some of the unevenness um, yeah so that's the best that we can hope for and there is um, Here's the membrane or the yeah the soundproof. Oh, fly, get out of here. There is a lip right here, so you can overlap. And they also sell a seam tape, but um, I didn't buy that. instructions said make sure your surface is as clean as like super clean I've uh, cleaned it with vinegar alcohol so it's as clean as it's going to be um, so that's to make sure it really sticks the other thing the other thing that I'm doing is I'm covering the, um, the holes where the seat is going to be I'm going to go from underneath and punch through with a screwdriver because I want the seat to sit on top of this. Uh, one, just so that it also, I don't have any noise vibrations coming through the bottom of the seat. So I think that'll add a little bit of dampening. All right. So I'm gonna bring a sheet down here. Um, I'm gonna keep it on the edge of the, the cowling cover here along here and then um, I'm 
probably going to replace these screws with flatheads because I want to flip the floor over it. So. Alright, I'm going to cut this section after just because I have to work around this seatbelt now. So I'm going to do that in a minute. Probably oh, should take that out. The only problem is, I, if this is rusted, I'm going to have to cut it again. I really don't want to do that. So maybe I'll just save this section for tomorrow once I figure that out. Alright, let's fill this in down to here. And then we're going to go that way. shield is all done here it's good um, this I'm leaving blank because it's kind of raised up so I don't want the vinyl flooring to be kind of lopsided so I'm leaving that uncovered here um, I just have that one little section there to fill in and underneath the controls down there that I'm gonna probably finish off later tonight or tomorrow um, just because I ground I used my grinder and I hit some high spots from some tack welds and let me tell you I'm pretty sure a 10 year old can weld better because they were tack welded and then they had the little tail growth which usually means they're not using either the correct mixture or not enough gas when they were tacking this all together so I don't know who that was either Ford or one of the but yeah so I had to grind all that down so I have one sheet left and some extra pieces that should be enough to finish that whole thing and then this whole area is completely done we can start flooring tomorrow and start laying it out um, I do have another box of the sound armor or DB armor um, the soundproofing because I'm gonna soundproof the stairwell for when we do that so I should have that on Monday be able to do that and then I'm actually gonna probably order one or two more boxes just because I have to do the cowling cover I'm gonna soundproof that and then I also have to soundproof uh, underneath the dash along the firewall so I'm probably gonna need I don't know I just want to be safe and not run out again so probably two more boxes so eight more sheets they come in uh, two by two squares and yeah, as you saw, really easy to go put down, peel and stick, just make sure your surface is as clean as possible. It says wipe it down um, after you clean it and prep it with a degreaser or isopropyl alcohol. I cleaned it with vinegar and then I went over it again with the alcohol. So yeah, I gotta say this is a win so far. I'll take any, uh, any wins on this renovation I can get because it's been going kind of iffy. Uh, yeah, so. All right, I will put a link down below to uh, my Amazon affiliate link of where I picked up this uh, heat shield products. And if you're interested in getting it, uh, yeah, check it out. 
they make a ton of other stuff as I showed before they do have a heat shield product which I'm going to be putting on the inside of the cowling as it sits over the engine to reduce some heat uh, if you saw from one of the other videos I showed how thin it was that's actually an eighth inch thick so it should work out really good on dissipating some heat uh, one other thing uh, when I emailed back and forth with um, I forgot uh, somebody at heat shield products this soundproofing is not a heat shield so this is this is only soundproofing so this is just the soundproof inside this cab because I took out the padding and the carpeting if you want heat shielding make sure you buy the appropriate heat shielding and then you have to apply that from underneath the chassis all right so any questions leave a comment down below I'll try to get answered as best I can otherwise check out heatshieldproducts.com not sponsored but hey you never know and uh, yeah we'll continue on this build Woo! Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on the next video. Have a great weekend. And to all our new followers and subscribers, thank you so much. It's much appreciated. And yeah, see you on the next video. Can't stop me now.